Hi Angels, this is Lizzie and Samantha again. Hi. We are here to talk about um, one of Samantha's favorite topics apparently, um, masks. We got asked if masks were a good idea, um, what we thought about it, and Samantha kind of went off on a little tangent so we decided it's probably a good idea if we share this knowledge with all of our followers. So I got on a soapbox. She did. I did. So we fi figured we would just, you know, share that with you. So we're going to give the floor to Samantha um, and she's going to explain exactly why she doesn't really care for masks. And um, yeah. I, th I think there's a, a place for masks. You know, um, it's a really popular thing right now. Everywhere you go, you see it. You can, you know, it doesn't matter where you're at, you see one. They're cute. They're you know they're they have got cute packaging and people want to try them and you know I get it. I used to do masks all the time when I was a kid. I started doing my own skincare when I was nine years old, thanks to my mom and so, my grandma. And thanks, ma and my tia. Yikes. Um. So we would do those homemade masks. Mm -hmm. I have put egg on my face, avocado on my face, mayonnaise, mm -hmm. oatmeal, lemon, grapefruit. <laughs> Like all kinds of things that Everything my mom used out of to your cook kitchen. up for, for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I get, I get the whole thing. But there's a place for it. And if you don't know what you need for your skin, if you've not been to a skincare professional, how do you know what you should be using? So that's an issue, and that's an issue not just with masking, but with skincare in general, because people really don't know what's going to be good for their skin. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we're for. Come see us. And, you know, there's plenty of faces. We can't do all of them. Just look in your area, see who you've got. Um, you know, find somebody that's a good fit for you. Um, yeah. But I've seen a lot of issues with masking, um, inflammation, um, oh, you know, yeah. redness. Um, they actually will cause damage to the skin, so, you know, just you know, lots of issues, and then we end up having to kind of get them, bring them back, bring their skin back. So it's kind of for that reason that I'm just not a fan of those types of masks. Um, you just really need to make sure that you're using something good for your skin, and what that is, who knows? That's gonna be up to your skincare professional, so get one if you don't have one. And we got two right here, so. Yes, I would hey, love girl. to apply for the position of your skincare <laughs> professional. Um, I'm open for interviews if you wanna come see us. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll, I have a resume prepared and everything. And we do masks. We, we do. have masks. We do have some masks. Yes, we should probably touch on that too. <laughs> we do have masks that are that are medical grade and they're they're designed specifically for certain skin types. So yeah, for sure. And we'll use the one that's going to be right for your skin. Yes. So thank you for that question. For good question. You know who it was. Um, so thank you. That was that was a good question. Thanks for helping me go off on a tangent. Yay! <laughs> All right, Viva Angels, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.